In this segment of the Family Accounting Webinar, we'll review reports in general and in particular reports that are applied frequently. So if I'm in Family Data and Accounting and now it's time to either run reports for myself or run statements for the parents across all parents, I'm going to click on Reports, go to Standard Reports, and we're talking about Family Accounting. These are broken into categories. Account activity reports have to do with a summary of all of your families and an overview of what happened. Let me just run this for the month. So these are what the account activity reports look like. They're just a large overview. I have no detail in here. Specific charges don't appear. Account aging is nice if you want to see who is it that hasn't paid me a charge, let's say, for 90 days. I could use this 30, 60, 90 day account aging report. The account balance summary is simply a list of all of my families and the amount that they owe. It's pretty much what you're looking at when you're on the main screen of Procare and you just see those balances. Account statements. So this is what you would send to your parents, usually a standard customer statement, and you could run this and print it out for everybody. Let's say I just want to run the date range for this month and run that report. And here I would have family by family, whatever it is that their ledger should be for this month, all of the things I've done between 10-1 and 10-31, and I've got more families here. You also have the option of emailing statements in Procare. And if you set up your email options, you can click on the functions and simply email the statements from there instead of printing them out. The next set of reports would be if you do use billing boxes, you can get a summary of what's in the billing boxes. Or in a way, what's more important, let's say you're billing with contracts. I would want to run that report the children without contract billing before I bill, just to make sure that somebody didn't add a child since the last time I billed and forgot to do a billing box, in which case I wouldn't run billing for them. You can also do the same type of report for children without a formula bill. The next report is one for the director. I'd say it's a terrific one for the director. And this report, the specific and the total, have the same numbers in them. But the specific allows you to do something very important, and that's the notion of drill down. So I'm going to run specific for this month. And this is me, the director, let's say. And I want to know what, what happened in the past month. I'm going to run this report. And it gives me every charge and every credit and every payment description. And so I know tuition infant, for instance, was charged, there were 11 items for a total of 1,043. Well, that's great. The reason that this report is so nice to me is family discount. Gee, 44, 46 people got $354 of discount. Who were they? And you just put your cursor right there, double click to expand. And this is a list of that credit description of family discount. Who got it? And here is ledger by ledger, day by day, and all the amounts of who got family discount. I'm going to click back on the main report. And you could double click on any of these. Who paid me by check? I can just double click and I'd have those people and their amounts, the day it was keyed, and who it is that keyed it in. Okay, the next one is deposit reports. This is when you run a deposit report in Procare and you take the money to the bank. You can either have the detail of report by report or a summary simply stating that report number 453 totaled a certain amount. Miscellaneous ledger activity, account deposits have to do with the special charges and credits. Tuition variance has to do with, you said, let's say in configuration, standard tuition is 120, but somebody when they posted it made it 110, that would show up as a tuition variance. If they changed it after the fact, it would show up in the audit summary. And then you also have reports on voids if you wanted that. If you're looking for a report for your accounting person that doesn't talk about specific charges and credits, but just talks about the general ledger for the family accounting, you can run the receivable journal summary report. 
These other reports here for account activity, those are mostly tracking related, and they're the same as the reports that we reviewed immediately above. And that's a summary of them.